All right, guys. Hey, I'm standing right here in Bath, New Hampshire, and uh, right behind me you can see a big red thing. Uh, it's not a barn, believe it or not. It's actually a covered bridge. Now, we were talking about things that were quintessentially New Hampshire, what makes New Hampshire unique, what makes it a really cool place um, and unique. Uh, I guess uh, some other states and um, I told you that what I was actually thinking of when I thought well, what makes New Hampshire unique or special or what makes it different than the rest of the states anyway um, I told you I was going to keep it a secret well the secret is that I was thinking of covered bridges and as you can see I'm walking into probably the oldest uh, bridge in the state the oldest covered bridge in the state it was built in 1823 and it's still standing and what makes this bridge unique is it is the longest bridge in the state it actually spans the wild Amanusic or the Amanusic River, and it does it in three separate spans. And it's something called the King's Post Truss. Now, if you look over here on my shoulder, you'll see what a truss looks like. Now you can see this truss is really, really long. And it actually has four of these massively long laminated truss arches. And that those trusses are there to help keep the bridge standing up. Um, it's a really long bridge. Now you might ask yourself, you know, how did the guys build this bridge? You know, how were they able to do it? Well, what they would do back in the day is they'd take these laminated pieces of wood and they'd set them in the river and get them nice and wet. And once they were wet, they were able to bend them into place. And then the blacksmith would supply the tie rods, the blacksmith would supply the bolts, the blacksmith would supply the nuts. And he'd also make the tools to tighten everything together so the bridge didn't fall down. But believe it or not, these four trusses are actually strong enough to carry this whole bridge. Now, while I'm busy talking to you, I'm actually walking through the length of the bridge. And I'm going to turn the camera around so you can actually see how long this bridge actually is. It's pretty cool. Take a look at this. So that's where I've got to walk yet. And this is where I've already been. So as you can see, this is a pretty long bridge. Now, if you want to come up here on your own, bring mom and dad, you can, okay? All you do is you come up to the western side of the state and you get onto Route 112 and head on over by Woodsville. And before you know it, um, after an hour or so, you'll actually be here. Um, and right in this town, there's actually three bridges. This happens to be the oldest and the biggest of them all. But if you want to see covered bridges, this is the place to come because this is Covered Bridge Central. I'm going to stop. I'm going to walk off the walkway here, and I'm actually going to show you the river that it actually spans. So you can see that the river actually rises up pretty far. So this is why a covered bridge was needed. And of course a covered bridge, why would they build a covered bridge? A covered bridge actually lasts a lot longer than a bridge that's just exposed to all the elements. And so in order to protect the bridge so they didn't have to keep rebuilding them, they would actually cover them. All right, so that's the story of this covered bridge. I'm just about at the end right now, but on the other end of the bridge, there's some pretty cool things too. So I want to get off to the end of the bridge and I want to show you what's up on the other side. Hold on, I'm going to show it to you. So I don't know if you could see it or not, but it says a dollar fine to drive a, t a team, to drive any team faster than a walk in this bridge. And of course, a team actually was a team of horses, because that's who you used to use this bridge, horses and oxen and cattle and things like that. And so in order to keep the bridge from getting shook half to death, they'd actually make the animals cross as slowly as they could. Well, I hope you've enjoyed a walk through this bath covered bridge. I'm going to start walking back on the other side now where I parked and it's going to take me a little while because again it's a long bridge. So again here's the bridge from end to end. I'm going to show you a full length view of the bridge. All right here we go. So as you can see it's a pretty long bridge. Well hope you enjoyed your little tour of the bath covered bridge.